Well, with the spring comes pollen and, yes, those snakes. That's right. This is the time of the year that snakes come to life, and we find them in our backyards, maybe our front yard, just slithering just around. all over. Ugh. So how do we know what we are dealing with? Watch 2's Michelle Meredith has a story. Spring is in the air. You know something that really loves spring in Florida? Snakes. At Reptile World in St. Cloud, you can see snakes all year long. People come from all over the U.S. to do just that. You're holding these snakes. No big deal? No big deal. No, no. I have a son that's always catch, catching them at, in Michigan, so. But out in the wild in Florida, this is a big season for snakes. Some tips to keep in mind if you have a close encounter. Number one, snakes really want nothing to do with us. Their instincts are very strong uh, that any animal that catches them out in the open is probably going to make a meal out of them. So when they see a human being uh, nearby, uh, the last thing that a snake would think of doing would be running over to, to you. Number two, the vast majority of snakes in Florida are not poisonous, and there are over 20 species. King snakes, corn snakes, also known as the red rat snake, the pine snake, they help us. Their nature's pest control, eat rats, mice, and there are many medical benefits. Snake venom proteins have been used in basic research for 80 years or more. Uh, they have been instrumental in our understanding of blood chemistry, cell structure, disease mechanisms, genetics. Experts say there are only four poisonous snakes in Florida, the coral snake, the water moccasin, and two types of rattlesnakes. So tip number three, when you see a snake, your biggest mistake is to try to pick it up. The majority of venomous snake bites that occur in, in the United States of America are uh, in young men between the ages of uh, 15 and 35 that to see a snake and instead of leaving it alone, they go over and mess with it until it bites them. Take a picture of the snake, text or email it to experts like the folks at Reptile World. They will tell you what you're dealing with, and if it's poisonous, they'll come and get it. So when are snakes least active? Well, the experts say in the middle of summer when it's really hot, and the middle of winter when it's really cold. In Osceola County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.